Hello everyone, welcome to Scored by Mano City Games, and welcome to another tutorial on how to set up some of the TurboSquid 3.3D models in Blender. And this was a question that was asked on my YouTube channel. And here we are in our TurboSquid.com, the first page that we have here. Now there's different ways that you can either purchase these models or you can download them for free depending on which one you go with. Uh, they do have free 3D models here available. So if we go to free 3D models here, you can see that they give you lots of different possibilities and options that you can choose from. So let's say that we are going to choose a uh, Bitcoin over here, right? And this right here is a 3D model license, has a standard licensing. So if you are guys using this for personal projects, you should have no issues, but if you're trying to use it for commercial purposes, uses, make sure you double check with their licensing. Uh, you can always open that, that up in your new uh, window. In here, you can read what they're being used for. And we're going to download this. So first thing you want to do is download. So once that's done, you will see that it will take you to another window where it will say my files. My products and downloads if it for some reason doesn't do that to you you can go to your accounts at the top if you're not logged in make sure you log in and create an account if you haven't and under your downloads it will take you to the same page here you can see that it gives you a image of the project that you have downloaded or purchased and also a description of it the price for it the date and so on and most important, everything that's in blue shows you a different type of format. We're going to go ahead and stick to FBX because it's a, a much smaller project. And let's go ahead and click download. I'm going to choose the folder to save it at. I'm going to go ahead and click save. You can see our FBX uh, Bitcoin have been saved, show in the folder. You can open it up. So here we have our Bitcoin. Next, we're going to do is open up our blender here we're gonna just leave it at uh, empty we don't need this cube and now you can go to file import and then choose the file format you want to import in this scenario we're going to be using the fbx go ahead and choose that once it brings up this window uh, you can see that it's going to show me a completely different drive so i'm going to go ahead and copy my location of the download for this file. Let's go ahead and place that, locate it, and find our Bitcoin. Go ahead and import. And as you can see, now it is in our scene. Now, unfortunately, this 3D model is very, very small, so I have to scroll my wheel to zoom in, and there you have it. Uh, the Bitcoin is in Blender. Now, of course, this model is a little bit complicated. And if you break it down by looking at it, there's over 99 other functions within this Bitcoin itself. So you can see that we have a Bitcoin miner. And anywhere that you have this uh, green triangle, it will give you that shading texture nodes over here for or the material should I say so you have each individual section that you can break it down and work on and you can see that each texture has its own different color that you can play with and not only that but if we're to go back to the whole default of it if we go to modeling here let's say right um, for the color, if I do random, for example, you can see that all these different texture materials are applied, or the materials are applied on each section, and you can even color code this later to something else. And again, if you're working with different particular 3D models, sometimes the easiest thing to do is just to go to File, external data and then find missing files if it's missing any textures uh, involving this 3d model and if it's not 
showing you for some reason sometimes if you go to shading here depending on which item you're looking at if it has that material attached to it over here you can see that this is using a gold 24k texture 136 so here you'll be able to physically add your nodes for your base color metallics specular roughness whatever textures that you might have that have not been imported into your particular material for the blender uh, you can do that as well or you can find them over here in the search bar and then just drag and drop your textures here this way as well so there's different ways of doing it however uh, I don't know if there's a, uh, a plugin for blender and turbo squid but you can download these files and it works really good with FBX format files for blender and same applies to Unreal Engine. But then, that being said, I thank you for asking a question on how to export or import these 3D models using TurboSquid. Again, check them out. They have a pretty good library of stuff. And I will personally be using some of these tropical fishes that I personally, personally purchased and some of the trees. You can see that I purchased this last year and have not had a chance to work with too many of them but some of this fish will be implemented in the game and I have uh, purchased some of those from TurboSquid and then here is some of the palm trees that I'll be using and these have a separate uh, textures I believe for each model as well so it also supports OBG and FBX uh, that being said, if you do have any other questions regarding TurboSquid file formats and all the other good stuff, you can always actually contact the seller or the artist of that product, and can, they can always help you out if you have any other questions regarding a particular 3D model that you're working with. It seems like as long as you're communicating well with them, they'll communicate back and help you out because I did have some issues with texturing on some of these 3D models. That being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time.